In the original Dark Souls trilogy, defeating a boss would earn you a boss soul. It's no different in Elden Ring, except for now they're called Remembrances. These only drop from some of the toughest bosses you'll face in Elden Ring, and once you've acquired them, it's up to you what you do with it. Decisions like these can often lead to decision paralysis in these games, but in Elden Ring, that's a thing of the past because now you can duplicate these remembrances and never think about the what could have beens. Here's how to do it. When you get a remembrance, just like a boss soul, you can just use it to give yourself a bunch of runes. For example, using the remembrance of the Grafted, which drops after defeating the first demigod, Godric the Grafted, will earn you 20,000 runes. That's certainly one way to play it, but 20,000 runes isn't all that much in the grand scheme of things, and you might be missing out on some major upgrades for your character. Instead, you can travel to Aenea in Roundtable Hold and turn in the Remembrance for one of two unique boss weapons you can't get anywhere else. For example, turning in Godric's Remembrance will give you access to either the Axe of Godric or Grafted Dragon. Well, what if instead of having to only pick one of these weapons, you can actually get both? You can, and it's actually quite simple. In most regions of the Lands Between, the Tarnish can encounter a giant walking mausoleum. You've probably seen the first one in the Weeping Peninsula if you've made your way south. They basically look like giant turtles. You'll need them to crouch down before you can enter them, and the way to accomplish this varies per region. For Weeping Peninsula, the nearby isolated shack vendor will sell you a note for 600 runes explaining how to do it for this region, but it's honestly really simple, you don't need the note. Around the bottom of its legs, you'll see chunks of white ichor that you can break off. And that's it, just go from leg to leg breaking off these pieces, and eventually the walking mausoleum will crouch down for you to enter. Just make sure he doesn't step on you, and once he starts to crouch, run out of the way so you don't get squashed. Now that he's down, head in the doors and simply select the remembrance you want to duplicate. The only thing to be cautious of is, you can only duplicate one remembrance per walking mausoleum. So choose wisely, and if you want another remembrance duplicated, you'll need to find another walking mausoleum. And that's it, once you've done the duplication, you can now return to Aenea at Roundtable Hold to collect both unique weapons. Of course, if you did use a remembrance on runes accidentally, and you still want both weapons, you could travel to another walking mausoleum and duplicate it again. It's our recommendation that you just don't use these for runes unless you're absolutely sure you don't want either weapon. Because let's face it, there's a chance that neither weapon will work for the build or class that you've chosen. Make sure to let us know in the comments below if this video helped you out, and for even more Elden Ring guides, head on over to IGN to check out our expansive wiki. And of course for everything else video games, stick with IGN.